Hey team, welcome back to reality. I don't have a realistic grave for the day except for the fact that I'm at my dad's house. My face looks really shiny right now. Mmm, nice. But that's also why my lighting isn't what it normally is, so um, bear with us, me. Bear with all of us that are involved in this whole process because real life is hard. Um, I wanted to have you get ready with me today so I could talk through with you my new skincare. Um, yep, that's about it. I woke up and had breakfast and um, kind of had a lazy day. So my getting ready process has been slightly delayed uh, because I exercised a smidge and things like that. So I'll be just uh, getting my skincare ready for the day and I'll be doing my hair and you'll be with me through those things. So I thought that would be kind of fun. Um, a two in one, a get ready with me, a normal daily, what normal daily life looks like for me, as well as my skincare. So here we go. So I normally take my rings off during skincare um, because I don't want them to get like soap and exfoliating, exfoliating gunkies and stuff in there. So I take my rings off and I set them somewhere where I know they're not gonna get messed with. Because I am pregnant right now, and I also live in Colorado, so it's not hard to find these kinds of products, I'm becoming more ingredient conscious. And that means that I'm looking for more like clean brands, like brands that are without parabens and sulfates and phthalates and odors and dyes and things like that. Normally I'm not one to just like jump on that trend, but um, for the baby's sake, I am wanting to be more careful. So I reevaluated my skincare situation. If you've been watching for a little bit, you know that back in September, I had a skin freak out due to mental and emotional stress that came out in physical stress <laughs> um and then my husband and i tem that's a cute face uh temporarily moved to texas for a month uh we are not there anymore we're in south dakota um moving all around this summer and while we were in texas it was a really restful time for me so i think even though i kind of upped my skincare game i think the restful schedule and the restful company. We lived with a family. It was just a really sweet time for us as a couple and for me personally. So I think that restful time really gave my chance of skin to kind of catch up with itself. Um, and then of course with pregnancy, there's all sorts of hormonal changes that are happening. So because I haven't really had any problems with my skin before, which is like, okay, that's not really a problem. It's like a really good problem to have. Um, I haven't really had to think about what face washes work well for me, whether I have dry or oily skin. My hair, my skin just kind of like does what it does. Um, and for the most part, I just washed my face with hand soap and it was fine. Um, and used a moisturizer. But I'm starting to reevaluate these things, especially since I'm in my 20s, mid 20s. Um, that's about when it's good to start getting a little bit more serious about skincare because you want your skin to continue to be healthy as you get older. So, I don't know if any of that makes sense, but to start with, I usually only use this when I shower, this first product. The rest of them I use um, somewhat daily, but this first product I use when I shower, and that's like... <laughs> maybe twice a week, if that. Um, I shower every three to four days. That's not just wash my hair, that's shower. Yeah, I know, I'm probably smelly, but no one said anything, so whatever. And this is by the brand Acure, and it's the Pore Clair... Oh, I'm awfully belgy. It's the Pore Clarifying Facial Scrub. Um, this is what it looks like. Oh, uh, you can't really see it. Let's see if... It's got like magenta designs on it. Um, it's got Moroccan red clay and argon extract for all skin types. So a cure, all of these brands that I'm talking about are basically like clean brands. I found that out by, <laughs> it was a really overwhelming process to like research 
what are like clean brands and what are not and ones that say they're like natural and organic but that doesn't actually like really mean anything um so basically you want to evaluate the ingredients and um so i just looked up cosmetic chemicals to avoid in pregnancy and just had like side by side tabs on my computer <laughs> and was like oh does this product have this no does this product have this and uh just went back and forth uh i don't remember what any of these things cost you can find all of these things on amazon or target they're not hard to find i know stores like sprouts more like health food healthier like stores will carry this kind of stuff but you can find it online easy peasy so yes a cure pore clarifying facial scrub i don't love this it smells really weird because of the red clay and it's not a very harsh clarifier so if you want a mild exfoliant this would be great for you um i'm used to i went from that mary Kay time wise skincare line that um microdermabrasion treatment is like rubbing salt on your face it's like so extreme um so that was my like standard of like this is an exfoliant but there are tons of facial scrubs out there um some of these brands are even at ulta um, so, and they're not psycho expensive. So, um, I wish you could buy sample sizes of things, but this, it might be doing a ton for my skin, even if I can't tell. So I use that in the shower, use an exfoliant first so that you're not clarifying, um, or cleansing dead skin. So you get the dead skin off first, um, open up some of those pores so that the cleanser can get in and do its job. The cleanser I'm using right now is by Alba Botanica and it's called Good and Clean Daily Detox Foaming Cleanser. It's kind of like a cream cleanser um, and it looks like this and it smells like grapefruit which I don't like to eat grapefruit but I like things that are scented grapefruit. <laughs> um, I have a friend who likes grapefruit so much. Growing up, she called it grapefruit, and that's what she thought it was called. So this is for sensitive skin. It's an oil clearing cream. And again, no parabens, phthalates, or synthetic fra fragrances, 100% vegetarian ingredients, all those good things. I really, The first time I used it was at a friend's house, and she told me she couldn't use it anymore. She, she just gave it to me, so this was free. Um, I think it's under 10 bucks. I think pretty much all of these things were under 10 bucks, which is great for like healthy, fancy brands. I like this. But <laughs> I don't know if it's like gonna be my like holy grail cleanser, but um, I like it. It does, I feel clean. I don't really know how to evaluate it. It's good and clean. It just like it says. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that now um, to wash my face. I will probably buy it by bleh, bleh, wow I'm struggling <sighs> I will probably buy this cleanser again just because um, when I started using it there was only like half in the bottle because my friend gave it to me to try and I like it so I'll probably keep using it uh, just to see how it does I usually do this part at night because um, it gets all the grime off from the day but it's such like a refreshing cleansing feeling uh, I'm going to do it now so when I took um, my stage makeup classes when I was in college before we applied any stage makeup after we washed our face, before we applied any makeup, we used what's called an astringent. And basically it's the same thing as um, witch hazel. It's a, a pretty harsh, just like cleanser. Like um, it just really gets in there and gets like grime off that um, is just there. I don't know. I don't know how it does it differently than a cleanser, um, but it basically gets in pores, it gets into all sorts of cracks and crevices, and it just like feels refreshing and feels good. So I, there are a lot of options out there. Um, you can just go to Walmart, you can go anywhere and get astringent or witch hazel, um, which like, <laughs> that's, I used to think it would was wood ch hazel. Or something but it's witch like Glinda the good and hazel like the color of your eyes if that makes sense but the kind I decided to get 
for um, purpose of ingredients, like all these other things, is by the brand Fayers, and they've been around for like over 100 years, um, 150 years basically. So I, I feel like I know that's kind of silly to just base it on like, oh, they've been around for a while, but um, that means they probably don't use like modern chemicals because they keep the same um, uh, recipes and ingredients and formulas that they've always had. Um, still look at the ingredients list just because something says started in 1912 doesn't mean that, you know, still look at the ingredients, but I felt really good about this. So it's called Thayer's Witch Hazel, Thayer's is the brand, and it's called Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula. I got alcohol free toner. So this is what's called a toner. Um, it's all in the same category as astringent and witch hazel. And I got the rose petal flavor. Uh, flavor? Scent? I don't know. The ingredients are basically like water, aloe juice, fragrance from natural roses, uh, some other stuff, but none of them are like dangerous ingredients. They're just things I can't pronounce. <laughs> um, grapefruit seed extract, if you're curious. Um, and Thayer's looks like this. I th I'm guessing that's Mr. Thayer on there. I don't know. Um, but I got alcohol free specifically so that it wouldn't dry out my skin extra much. So you get a little cotton ball and you just kind of squeeze it on there. Um, it's got this awesome like squeeze top. Bloop. Um, and this is a huge bottle. Uh, 12 ounces and I've had it for I don't know, a little bit, but if you use it daily, and again, I think it was like, I think it was under 10 bucks. So you just kind of like go over your whole face. I end up, um, I do a, give a little extra attention to problem areas. So like around my nose, um, this area right here tends to give me some issues, or at least it has lately. Um, but don't forget about these other areas. So I don't go close to my I don't go like across my eyes. I just am not comfortable with that. Um, I'm sure it's fine because it's alcohol free and whatever, but I'm still um, learning. So I'm still learning about this product. It smells like a vintage thing. I don't know if that has anything to do with the quality of the product, but it makes me happy just because of who I am. So there's no like rinsing necessary after using a toner or astringent or whatever you want to call it. Um, no rinsing necessary. There's like a layer of yuck on there. And that was after I washed my face. So toner uh, is a great thing. So I just kind of like fan my face <laughs> because it's still kind of wet, but and usually at this time, I'll like alternate and do something with my hair or like go get dressed or whatever. Um, I've got a couple little red bumpies, but comparatively to like a month and a half ago, I feel really good about where my skin's at. So I'm grateful. And then the moisture I has right, I has, <laughs> the moisture I has right now is from Costco. So if you're a Costco shopper, uh, you'll be able to find this there. But I use the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion for body and face for all skin types. It's lime green, um, as opposed to like the blue detailing on some of the bottles. Um, and I just put it in a smaller bottle that was for my, I used to use Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer, so that's the bottle that I have. Um, but I just filled it with this other stuff. Because uh, the size of this bottle is great and it doesn't make airports mad. So this would not fly, literally. I could not take this on a plane. Um, and it's kind of nice because it's only, it's one product for the body and the face. Um, it is lightweight, it is lightweight, it's fragrance free. Again, the ingredients are pleasant. Um, and, and if I use too much, sometimes it feels greasy, but I just do one little pump and that's enough for my face. Um, but then even financially, I just have to like buy one thing for my whole body, which I like. So just put this everywhere and pull what's left onto my neck. That is my skincare. And then um, the, the um, 
makeup I put on top of it, but I usually let the lotion just kind of sit. Oh, I forgot the last little bit. So, um, this is recent that this is a recent addition to my life. Um, but I was given the suggestion by somebody actually through, she was watching my channel and she messaged me. Um, and that is using argan oil. Now I know you people use argan oil, argan, argan, whatever. People use argan oil in their hair for curls. I, I used it in my hair like once or twice and I hated it. But you're supposed to be able to use it on your skin and your hair and it's good for your nails. I used it on my hair and it just kind of like, I used it just on the ends of like my curls and it just like grease balled my whole head. So not doing that again. <laughs> um, but this is from Trader Joe's and it was, it's like 1.7 ounces, but that's like, this is a ton of oil um, compared to like a little, um, this is like a normal essential, this is a big essential oil thing and this is one ounce. And then really expensive oils come in like half ounce little things. So um, this is gonna last me a while. <laughs> um, but I usually put, I'll put some on now. I usually just take it out. It's got this like chemistry dropper thing. So I feel like a apothecary. Um, but I usually just take it out and let one little driblet just go in the middle of my hand and I spread it out. And then I just kind of place it in problem areas. And it's really great before bed because then I'm not like messing with it. Um, it'll just, it just like sits on my skin until it absorbs. So I haven't noticed anything crazy, but you know, there's all sorts of stuff on Pinterest that'll be like, I used argan oil for a week and my skin is like 10 years younger or whatever. So. Um, there's a ton of other things on YouTube. I'm still getting used to it. Um, so then let's do my hair. So I'm on day three. Um, so I should probably put in some dry shampoo. Um, this is also by the brand Acure, which is the same as this exfoliating scrub. And I'll need a comb. This is going to be a long video. Well, whatever. You can skip whatever you want. That's fine. Um, because I had a headband on when we took our walk. I, my hair got like pressed down to my scalp. Um, I'm gonna do kind of a, the side, a side braid thing here. And then the rest is hopefully just gonna be crazy. So what I normally do is just take a spray bottle with just water and just kind of go crazy. Because by day three, my curls have kind of been exhausted. Um, but they get kind of like, crazy which in this case I want because I want it to be a little bit Braveheart Viking-esque if you know what I mean. The hair product I use is Tea Tree Hair and Body Moisturizer. Both my husband and I use this and again so budget wise we only have to buy one thing but it doesn't make my curls crunchy and I really really appreciate that. And then I'm going to take a sea salt spray and that'll help give it some oomph too. I'm going to section this off and then maybe go a little bit further back. Great. So you see that I angled it back just a teensy weensy bit um, so that uh, this top piece kind of covers the part. There's that. Thanks for getting ready with me. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see. Let me know in the comments down below or on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. And that's it. Really my getting ready is a lot more simple than what this video seems, but I talked through everything. So that's gonna make it all longer. Um, this is one of my favorite go-to hairstyles right now because it's easy. I don't have to do anything with the rest of my hair. I just have to braid this. Um, and then I will probably put on just my regular everyday makeup, uh, which you'll see later in those other videos I mentioned. Okay, keep it real. Um, I don't know what that looks like for you. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was fun to hang out uh, and useful to learn about skincare when you're pregnant or when you're not. Um, and all of these things are pretty affordable. So, yep. 
thanks for joining me. Uh, and I hope to see you next time and hear from you in some facet. <gasps> Keep it real. Okay, bye.